Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. We got some issue with our uh, supply chain management uh, sub inventory task uh, creation in the latest version. So many people has asked this doubt. I just wanted to make uh, one video about this. Right now we are in 2024, quarter A. First quarter we are in 24 A. We know that Oracle is trying to implement Redwood experience going forward. Redwood experience means from the front end user. So why we required Redwood uh, experiences? Uh, basically, when the organizations wants to have the next generation user experience, like initially we got uh, classic pages, then we got uh, response uh, UI pages. After that, we got uh, now Redwood experience. So the Oracle is trying to migrate the application almost in every quarter, trying to implement a few tasks to the Redwood experience. So Redwood is the name of Oracle next generation user experience. Uh, sometimes in the interview results, they may ask, do you know about Redwood or do you have any idea about Redwood experience? So we have to say that uh, Redwood is the name of Oracle next generation user experience. It brings state of the art consumer grade user experiences across devices to the sophisticated enterprise scenarios that Oracle enables. We know that nowadays the applications which we are using from the cloud, the clients are expecting very user friendly and it should be very faster. And in less time, they would like to navigate across the application. So this Redwood experience is uh, going to provide all these features performance wise, design, look and feel, font changes, as well as the toolbar. And also in a less moving mouse, you will be able to access all the tasks uh, or buttons which are available in the particular page. It touches every single interaction with our company for customers, partners, and employees. So whoever is Oracle customers or partners and employees, whoever is there, it touches everybody. So Redwood is not just a change in a color scheme, scheme or a marketing initiative. It's a collective a reinvention of how Oracle customers interact with technology and consume the information, information or exchange, either insert or update or delete, or it can be moved from one place to another place. That's how they will be performing here. When we talk about the Redwood experience from FSM environment, I could see that here uh, in supply chain management, manufacturing and supply chain material management. People used to ask me, we are searching for sub-inventory task, but I could not find this. Uh, earlier, the task name, it was manage sub-inventory and locators, but I could not see that here. The, instead of that, we got configure sub-inventories. So both are same, both are same. This is the task which we will be using to create sub-inventories within the inventory and locators also. When I go to sub-inventory, configure sub-inventory, we can see that the Redwood experience, uh, the application is opening. And in the URL also, we can see the change. Uh, this was Redwood. We can see that. Here. And we got toolbar also. So if at all you would like to go for create a sub-inventory, first we are supposed to choose what is the inventory name. For which inventory you would like to go for creation of the sub-inventory. Let me choose the inventory name here. We got default operations inventory. Uh, and within that, if at all we want to go for create a new one, of course we can create within this operations. Press create sub inventory here. Uh, sub inventory name. Let's say I would like specify that stores. Item storage sub inventory. Uh, status active, and I'm not going to put any location control or something for this, and submit and close. The value of the attribute organization is not valid, so we have not selected a valid uh, inventory organization. So let me cancel this task, come back to again here, and choose your inventory organization. Let's say plan B A we have. These are built-in sub-inventories we have. Going to say that 
Sub-inventory. Store. Yes, I would like to go for submit and close. A record with the value stores already exists. Enter a unique value. So maybe this name is already exist. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to specify stores instead of stores. So uh, staging back. Submitted. Uh, the sub inventory has been created successfully. In case if we would like to modify this existing record in Redwood experience, what we have to do is we have to use this option. And we can go for search the records here. We can try with sub inventory name or material status or sub inventory type. These are different options. And we'll have a flexibility to export the data here as well as we can go for add the columns, additional columns. These are columns which are showing right now and these are the columns are hide in case if you would like to see those columns you can just check this checkbox and it will be added so that, that particular column it comes to this environment here located okay so this is redwood experience but some of the pages we have issues in fact this sub inventory when we try to configure uh, you know locators and uh, try to configure some location key flux field combinations, item locators, we are facing some issues. So a few people has asked us uh, how to come back with this issue, then I'm just making it. So what you have to do is if you go to user menu, you will not find here, uh, you know, set up and maintenance option, even though you are an uh, implementation user. So what you have to do is right now you are in uh, Redwood uh, experience. So you have to just go to home page, click on home page. So that will come back to normal classic uh, application and then go to setup and maintenance here. And go to global search. This is general search task, which will be performing within the offerings. Now we are going for global search. Go to task here, search. And here we can find uh, for sub -inventors. Then we will get classic uh, you know, uh, page option, manage uh, sub inventories and locators. Click on this, choose our inventory organization, press OK. And we'll go ahead with the uh, standard. This is uh, not Redwood, it's a general task. It's a classic UI, user interface, we call it. So generally in Fusion applications, we'll find three different types of user interface experience. The base is a classic UI, classic user interface. Then after that, we got response UI. Response UI, something is like, which is compatible for mobile and other. Let me show you that also. Let me just check. Response UI and then the third one is a Redwood experience. When I go for my client groups and try to configure, let's say I'm trying to create uh, workforce structures. When we try to create workforce structure, now I can see this. This is what we call it as, uh, you know, uh, response UI, which is compatible for uh, web as well as mobile. So users can immediately go for a response for this. Okay, this is how it's going to work. So this, uh, what we are uh, saying that is an uh, Oracle Vision Cloud environment, Redwood Experience has just started. It has just started because it is having more features to go ahead with the implementation of application either performance point of view or customization even for the migrations point of view also it will be helpful so that's the reason oracle has started uh, moving maximum transaction pages uh, from the classic ui to redwood experience okay thank you so in supply chain management if you are facing the issue with that let's go to fsm environment go to global search and search for the sub inventory and let's open the classic UI and go ahead with it. Because uh, this configured sub inventories, which is Redwood Experience UI, still having some issues. So when we try to, just creating sub inventory is not a problem, but when we try to implement uh, the sub inventory features, then we are facing issues. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.